The 11th century in the Middle East was marked by the dominance of the Seljuk Empire. Founded in 1036 in Central Asia, this empire will take over almost all of the Middle East by 1090. During this time, the two-century dominance of the Abbasid dynasty will be officially ended and the Byzantine Empire will be forced to leave the Levant. As a result of Seljuk dominance, the Christian world is frightened and the First Crusade will be launched. You want to know more? Watch this video or check out our reference book in description below. During the 10th century, the Abbasid dynasty's 200-year reign split into multiple fractions. However, they will continue to exist as spiritual leader under the Bayids and Seljuks. In the short term, two small states will gain independence, Hamdanids and Armenia, but they will almost immediately be attacked by the Byzantines. The Hamdanids who controlled Mosul and Aleppo will officially end in 1016 and their territory will be split by Byzantine and Fatimids. Since the 8th century, Armenia has been caught between Byzantine and Abbasid powers. In 885, the Byzantine Emperor Basil I and the Abbasid Caliph Almudamid agreed that fighting for this region was not worth it, so they allowed Ashit I to be king of the newly independent Armenian nation. Between 885 and 1045, the Bagratuni's royal family rules Armenia. They were eventually conquered by the Byzantine Empire in 1045 and later by the Seljuk Empire in 1064. From the ashes of Abbasid, two more dominant states will emerge, the Bayids and the Fatimids. The Bayid were mercenaries from the Caspian Sea who overran the weak 10th century's Abbasid army and occupied a large part of the Middle East in 945. Finally, the Seljuks conquered them in 1055. Founded in Tunis in 909, the Fatimid Caliphates conquered all of North Africa from the Abbasids in 974. In 998, Caliph al-Hakam began a war with the Byzantines over the Levant. This war will end in 1038. However, the war against the Seljuk will start in 1072. Now we need to focus on the Seljuks. Three sultans will be responsible for Seljuk Empire's dominance, Togrul Beg, Alp Arslan and Malik Shah. Between 1037 to 1040, Togrul Beg conquered almost all Central Asia by defeating the Ghaznavid army. This gain is primarily due to Dan Dankin battle. In 1055, he will defeat the Bayids and take over their territory. He will also keep the Abbasid Caliphate intact. The Abbasid Caliph will give him the Sultan title in exchange. A succession war will occur in 1063 after Togrul Beg's death. It will be Alp Arslan who will be named Sultan. A short time later, he sent troops toward the Byzantine Empire. At the Battle of Manzikert in 1071, he captured the Byzantine Emperor Romanus for Diogenes and eliminated any Byzantine threat. A crucial event in Turkish history, this battle is considered to mark the end of the Byzantine Empire. The third great Sultan Seljuk was Malik Shah. The expansion was carried on by Malik after Alp Arslan died in 1072. He immediately attacked the Fatimids and takes control of the Levant and Jerusalem. As a result, the Byzantine Empire asked Christian nations for help. The First Crusade is launched in 1096.